Namaste. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the core beliefs of Hinduism. Hinduism is the predominant religion of the Indian subcontinent and is regarded as the oldest organized religion on earth. It has about 1 billion followers, making it the third largest religion. And in ancient times, there were Hindu kingdoms all the way from Central Asia to Southeast Asia. No one really knows when Hinduism started. There is no single prophet that founded the religion, and followers of the faith believe that the religion has always existed. There is also not a primary text that the religion is based on, and there is nothing mandatory that you have to believe to be a Hindu. But there are still a lot of core ideas that unite all Hindus, which we'll talk about in today's video. Hinduism believes in one supreme god, and he or she is called by many different names, but probably the most popular name is Bhagavan, so I'll stick with that. Bhagavan is beyond gender and form, but as humans with form, it's difficult for us to imagine something infinite. Now, you'll probably see a lot of different images of Bhagavan in Hinduism, but remember that there is still only one supreme god. The best example for this is a rainbow. There's so many different colors in a rainbow, but all the colors come together to form one single light. In this way, all of the different forms of God in Hinduism are just different aspects of the same Bhagavan. Hinduism says that every living being has a soul, including plants and animals. And since our soul comes from Bhagavan, that means that every living being has divinity within themselves. So it doesn't matter if someone is religious or an atheist, Hindus believe that God lives within everyone. This leads to the practice of Ahimsa, which means living a life of non-violence and minimizing harm to other plants and animals. But we have to eat something, right? So where do we draw the line? Hinduism says that since plants don't have a nervous system and animals do, that it's okay to eat plants, which is why many Hindus are vegetarians. Hinduism also believes in the principles of karma and reincarnation. Karma is the universal law that every action or thought has a consequence, and this can be a good or a bad consequence. Hindus also believe in evolution, meaning that we all started out as plants, and then we became animals, and finally we became humans. And as humans, we have the ability to realize that there is something greater than ourselves. If someone has karma left over at the time of death, then they will be reborn. But when a person reaches a state where they no longer have any karma pending, then they will not be reborn and will reunite with God. So the process of escaping the cycle of reincarnation and attaining enlightenment and reaching God is called moksha. And everyone has the ability to attain moksha in their lifetime, regardless of what religion they follow. Hinduism believes that what matters the most are the actions and intentions of a person. So an atheist who is a good person is much more likely to attain moksha than a religious bad person. There are many sacred Hindu scriptures, but perhaps the most popular one is the Bhagavad Gita. Many regard the Bhagavad Gita to be a summary of all the Hindu scriptures, and it's a great place to start for someone who's interested in the faith. Hinduism is different from many of the other world religions because there's no formal conversion process. To be a Hindu, you just need to believe in the overall concepts of the faith. So I'm about to tell you the most fascinating part about Hinduism. Because Hinduism says that God lives in everyone as the soul, no one is born in sin. In fact, Hindus believe that everyone is born divine, and everyone has the opportunity to realize that divinity within their lifetime. Hinduism also does not believe in an eternal hell. Hinduism doesn't believe that God would punish someone for eternity because everyone has the opportunity to correct their mistakes and become a better person. If you would like to see more videos about specific concepts in Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism, please subscribe to our channel and like, comment, and share our videos. So hopefully you learned something new about Hinduism today, the oldest religion in the world. So thanks for watching, have a blessed day, and Namaste.